Welcome, my name is Gerd and I'm going to present you the CI Hub connector for WordPress. First step, where can you find the plugin? It's quite easy, just jump into the plugin section, search for CI Hub or CI Hub connector, you'll get a result and it's easy to activate. My plugin is currently installed as you can see here, so let's have a quick look at what's to do before you start. So if you call the CI Hub connector the first time you have to register or if you register just do a login with your credentials and that's it. Now the CI Hub connector is activated as you can see here and the next step would be connect some source systems. And to do so, just tap the little plus icon in the connection section and you see your favorites or all available integrations where you can see here, there's quite a lot. But let's stick to our favorites. I'm gonna add box cloud storage system to my connections. And yeah. Add Unsplash and to make that easier I can load a profile which I have created a few days ago so you can always recall different profiles to connect to various systems. So that's all. Now we're connected and I can switch between my connected systems. It's just a mouse click and here we go. Next topic would be how to find your assets. That's quite easy. Let's have a look at the first icon section. You have a full text search to search through any system. Now I'm searching in the Celum Dam system. Get my result. I can search in Getty images. I can search in uh, Unsplash, yeah, whatever I want to do. So it's quite easy to find your assets, including the filter capabilities, um, which are generated by the source system itself. So then can differ between this one, what I'm showing you here, or another source system. And you can also browse through folders uh, by doing a double click on the folders you can go back and forth or you can navigate through the breadcrumb. You can go back and forth, switch between folders and you get your results immediately. Another topic is the links or the check panel if you tap this little icon, you'll get a result of all images or assets, digital assets that are used in your system. Um, yeah, there are some additional features like similarity search, add files and add folders to your source system. If we switch over to the view, you see in the detail view, you have custom metadata fields or IPTC XMP metadata information available. You can switch between various preview sizes. You can hide the caption or show the caption. And you can also switch between the title or the file name, it depends on your needs. We have a list view with sorting options, ascending, descending. You can add columns to your metadata fields. You can delete columns from um, your source system and you can rearrange them, put it in position. position. So the second column is now the creation date and you can add files or reload the folder. And not to forget, in the detail view, you have also access 
to all the versions. So let's have a look on how to use the CI Hub Connector plugin. I'm opening a post and I would like to add an image from a dance system. In our case, it's Selum. So I have switched to the Selum system, grab an image, select it, and it's placed. Next step, let's place an image from a cloud storage system. In this case, I'm using Box. I'm going to switch to Box, browse through the folders, or I can do a full text search if I want to. Um, you can select the image you want to place, check the rendition. In this case, I'm using a JPEG with a 1024 size and it's placed. Next, I'm going to check an image from Unsplash. So I'm switching to the Unsplash system and I'm doing a full text search. Let's add another. And check this one and you can see the green icon shows you the selected rendition and the size of the rendition. So let's choose the medium size and add this file to the post. Here we go. And now we're going to add a Photoshop file with layers. Um, and this comes from my box system also. Go into the folders yeah, here we go. This is the Photoshop file and as you can see there were 130 megabytes. So I'm going to choose the rendition which is already set up, the JPEG. I say use and add this file. So just placed a rendition of a Photoshop file. And the same works with native Adobe Illustrator files. This one is also stored in my box cloud storage system doing a full text search searching for the early bird icon here we go this is a native illustrator file as you can see here and the rendition is selected just add it and it's placed if your search system supports png with transparency it works perfect now let's place an image which is stored in the media library only. That's how it goes. And we will have a look at another feature which is the version control. I have a page with one image in it. And and I would like to check if the version of this image is the latest version. So just jump into the media library to have access to the CI Hub connector. And I'm going to click this little gear wheel icon and I can see if I do a check for the status. There comes a little warning symbol which says there is a newer file available. So by opening the details section of this image, I can see there are four versions. The second version is currently selected. Um, I can resize the thumbnail. I can see that there is a newer version without the little aircraft. Um, and there's a timestamp included, so everything you need. And if I tap on that, I can see all the details, the modified date and whatever I need. So. I'm going to relink this file to my page by clicking this little icon, choose the rendition again. And what happens is the placed file will be currently updated uh, with the latest version. We will see that later on. But if I go back to my page and I do um, um, empty the cache 
it'll directly appear. So this is the latest version um, without any placement or whatever manual stuff you have to do. That works perfect. Another topic is to use the metadata content which is stored within your source system and you have access to that with your um, CI Hub connector plugin. So I'm going to place um, an image. In this case, I have a Dropbox. And as you can see, there are some metadata fields. The caption and the title is over here. And everything I need to do is place the image and have the ID ready. So if you're working with Elementor and with short code, just use the short code and the ID and everything will be displayed. So in this case I have the file name and the creation date. Now I'm going to type the ID and I have the title and the caption included. So it works perfectly um, to get an overview of all the content of your assets, uh, the metadata content and then use them in various situations. So I'm going to add another image which contains some metadata fields. As you can see here, the caption and the title again. Um, I'm going to say use. Select this image and it's placed. And yeah, you know, all I have to do is to replace um, the ID and everything will be displayed. So this is the first short code and this is the second one. So it works perfectly with the CI Hub plugin. Okay. Let's go back to what we can do with all the assets to check the versions, the availability. So it's just using the check panel. Um, and you can see um, the details. You have a link to the, uh, the asset itself. You have a link to the page where this asset has been placed. Um, if it's placed multiple times, um, all the pages or the posts will be displayed and you have direct access to it. So let's have a look at this post with multiple images. Yeah, just call the media library to access the CI Hub connector, click the check panel uh, icon and you can see we have images from Box, from Unsplash, from Celum. And as you can see the last one, this is the one I've just placed um, from the media library, so this is not coming out um, of a external system. You have a full version control. The little warning symbols say, okay, there is a difference between the original file name and the placed file name that comes through the rendition. The original file name is a PSD, but we use the rendition, so it's JPEG. This is just to keep you updated. And this one is the one I've just placed from the media library, but I want to have that image in my source system. Um, I'm using Box and I want to add this image, which is only available in my media library to my source system. So I select the folder, click the add icon and the file will be uploaded from WordPress directly into my Box cloud storage system without any changes uh, in the page. So let's add, for example, the cover of a Word or a PowerPoint document. That's also doable with the rendition feature of the CIR plugin. 
So I'm browsing through the folders, go to my Office 365 documents. As you can see, this is a PowerPoint and I've selected a rendition. And now I can place the cover of these PowerPoint file into my post. Here we go. The CI Hub connector is available for Office 365 applications, Google Workspace, Figma, Sketch, and of course the whole Adobe Creative Cloud applications. So let's do another check of assets. I'm in the media library and I've selected six assets and I would like to check these assets if they are available and regarding versions and if there's anything so it just shows the six selected assets and as you can see i have the little warning symbols everything is available i see the source system but i can also add all the files in the media library and check them against the source systems so that's how it works. It's quite easy to have a full control of the versions and the availability of your assets uh, without leaving WordPress. So that's it for today. If you have any questions, just shoot me an email or visit www.cihub.com. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.